Phantom 2 for game number one. And it's going to be Roy versus Snake. Uh, Roy can like, be really well in this match, though. Because like, Snake is like, can't be in like, really good finish. Stuff. And Roy's like really fast. So like, if he like, reads like, uh, Melo like, doing like, some, like grenades or like, like some force stuff like that. Roy can just like, go in like, near, border, back here, but like, at the same time, I feel like Snake can, uh, if, um, he goes at the ledge, Snake has pretty good, like, um, we have less trap because like gaining terror in the castle, like yeah, even like Roy's like top two to me and like not match uh snake so yeah, and, and we, we can see, definitely see a little bit of that as Etho takes the percent lead right here, uh, 91 to 128, <laughs> but it's not much of a lead as uh, Snake is such a heavy character, he's definitely still in a comfortable position right now, and Roy absolutely at kill percent, especially to that C4, which probably would have killed like 20% ago. I think it's nuts. And as far as I know, it wasn't actually changed. Um, I don't know if you saw that there, but like, since like, Snake actually got um, nerfed in this patch. Yes, it's, um, Nikita actually is like, has a smaller hit box. Like, uh, so like, he was like recovering, and, like it looked like he would have been hit by the Nikita, but like, since like 3.0 the way Right, and that's uh, something we're gonna see a lot with these characters, especially the ones that got like significant changes, such as Snake. Mello has probably didn't get to play this patch until he got here. I mean, yeah. the, the patch came out like an hour or so before uh, this tournament started, and so now he's gonna have to get used to a completely different spacing with that Nikita uh, than he was already accustomed to. I feel like Ethan has the advantage too because like in the last patch, Melo, um, I mean, uh, the last patch like uh, Shield uh, Stun yes. was like very, 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 uh, very long. Projectiles project also got an overall nerf. Uh, yeah. All projectiles now do less shield damage, which is uh, great. It's kind of a buff, but mostly a nerf Ooh. for Snake. <laughs> But an F tilt bringing Mello right back into the game. As I was saying, that um, the change to the projectiles is kind of a uh, mostly a nerf to Snake, but in one situation in particular, it's it's a bit of a buff. When he is holding his own grenade and he's sitting in, in shield, that means he's gonna get shield poked a lot less. He's not gonna get pressured as much in shield because he's not gonna take as much damage from his own grenade. I feel like like if you were like Billy Ma too, saying just run up and grab. Oh my Yo, god. Okay, let me talk. Yeah man, this is a really fast paced match. We're already down to our last stocks. Dash attack for Mello right here. He's gonna set up the trap. Oh my Ooh. god. That would have been so good. Nice. He said? Not quite yet. C4 activated. Back there putting Mello off stage. He's gonna have to recover high. No punish from Etho. Jab. Oh, the way. Oh wave. my oh, god. He's trying to swag. He's a, he's a madman, dude. I feel like he could have just confirmed into an aerial or yeah. chased him down. I thought, he was gonna, I thought he was gonna jab back here. But yeah. yeah, jab back here would have been, would have been the stuff right there. But he was trying to end it in style, and he'll get the off stage edge guard. Game number one going to Etho. Alrighty, so let's see where they're gonna go for game number two. It's looking like Battlefield. Uh, Arisdell making her way back onto the mic. Appreciate, elegant, um, you know, giving us a, a bit of his un his his knowledge, right? His understanding yeah, of the characters. Yeah, what did he say? What did elegant bring up? Uh, he said some stuff, man. I, I can't recall all of it. That match also go. happened super fast. What did I do? Uh, Etho won game one, pretty much. All right. Mello actually taking Etho to Battlefield. This is going to be uh, maybe a little bit better for him. The, uh, the C4 is going to be a lot harder to see on this stage. And also, uh, he's going to have a lot more setups off of throws into the C4. If he can set up a uh, C4 on the platform, it's really good. If the C4 is on the platform and it detonates, he can... Um, it actually hits the area of effect of the, the hitbox. Uh, hits above the platform and it also hits below the platform. So you can see Mello already taking the first lead of this set so far. Uh, and uh, additionally, wow, answering oh, yeah. right back with the back air, Etho bringing it back. So ridiculous. Additionally, setting up uh, C4 on the platforms allows for uh, Snake to get throw combos into the platform, detonate the C4, and which is especially uh, deadly when they're at kill percent. Yeah, thanks, uh, 
Man keeps parrying his own grenade, dude. He's a madman. Oh, oh, dead to the tipper. Cross slash, man. <laughs> it's actually just the uh, the double edge dance, but uh, it, it's just as strong as that cross slash that wow. Cloud had in what? Smash 4. That was a 0 to 60% of combo there that Etho just threw out. Okay, he's got to watch out for the C4 right there. Uh, but he was applying so much pressure to Melo that he wasn't actually able to detonate it. Kida kind of thwarting his recovery right here. Again. Ooh. Up smash connecting into the kill. All right, so we're down to our last stock right here. Uh, Mello at a pretty big deficit, but he gets the read here. No jump, goes right back to the ledge. Etho retreating to this top platform. Okay, his nade saving him there. Pretty, wow, this is actually pretty even the last stock. Oh, wow, this is winner's quarters. I had to know. Already. Yeah. So this is still best of three, uh, but once winner's quarters does wrap up, and we're moving on into best of five territory. Both of these players still have to earn that chance. Uh-oh, doesn't have a jump. Using the correctional air dodge to gain some horizontal distance. Is not no, why wasn't Nikita touch? Real Nikita, talk, though. It was. It, it, it was it? It was touch. No, no, no. no we no, talked no. about, uh, Elegant touched about, talked about this a little bit. How was right it touch? Because so the hitbox was actually made smaller. So let's talk about Snake's cha changes, right? Back air got changed, up smash got changed, and the side special got changed. What side mean, back air got side changed? special being um, the Nikita. It, uh, re they reduced the attack range of airborne missiles. So that means the hitbox is smaller. Um, back air has an extended launch distance when hit in the high damage range. So meaning the sweet spot is actually stronger on back air now. Wow. And up smash like has increased vulnerability, which means it has more ending. Up smash, yeah, actually has a pretty laggy pretty good one along with the down smash. Uh, Snake kind of has a laggy uh, uh, attack. Uh, but yeah, let's look at dash attack. Still pretty good. The jab is up tilt too as well. Oh, smash trying to connect it into that. Up tilt, up tilt at about 90%, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, no, up tilt is good. Okay, down throw. Can you get the read? Yes, he waits for the get up attack. Hits him with that up tilt. Really strong start for Melo right here. Sitting at only 40%. Ito has to work very quickly to bring this back. Snake also likes to do that, kind of recover with the eye and the air dodge. Down onto the stage is always going to happen all the time. It's so critical to capitalize off of that. Oh, oh that is exactly what I'm talking about. Air dodging through the double edge dance, yeah. Uh, not a bad option right there, but had Melo scattered it out, he could have simply charged up a forward smash. That's a lot easier to no surprise that he actually chose to go back here. Uh, but I am wondering what uh, Mello decided to ban. Uh-oh. Okay, forward tilt. Really strong knockback on the move, actually allowing him to run across the stage and still get that punish. Oh, yeah. He's gonna get punished by that forward tilt. Uh, the forward oh, yeah, tilt, yep. forward tilt. I don't know why his forward Oh, my forward. God, he tried to end him. That, that probably would have killed him. It looks like a jab, though, doesn't it? It definitely like, I yeah, always it looks get that like mixed up. It yeah. literally looks like a jab. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't blame you. It definitely looks like one. Oh, jab. But recognizing that the grenade was right there, he didn't want to immediately throw out a hitbox in case it uh, messed up his follow-up. But he was able to secure the stock with the upper anyways. Uh, but he still has one stock between him and Mello. Mello looking really healthy right now. These grenades. Uh, trades are going to be so good for Melo. Like, this is the best position Snake can possibly be in because he can run in. Normally, he likes to play a little bit more patient, a little more passive. But right here, he can just run in, throw grenades, be aggressive. The trades are going to be in his favor, and he's still got a stock to work with. Using his uh, grenades and his C4 as well, just kind of landing on top of them, holding shield and detonating both of them. We're waiting for the grenade to get so at 127, down throw, what's the chase? Roll back, not gonna get the read. Mello still, all right, one grab. Nope, uh, Nikita not enough, actually. But again, the same <laughs> situation same, like, as game Aerials two. should be able to like cancel out like, the effect of this. My point, I feel like it's still I mean, too good. They do, but it's not really easy to beat out to Nikita do it, That's what I'm yeah. saying, like it should I mean, be you have to be, you have to be, you have to time it really well and like, it's almost not even worth because if you mess up, you're more than likely dead or put yeah. into a really bad spot, such as we saw 
in game number two and three from Melo using the Nikita to edge guard Etho and making the reverse.